Hey everyone, Pastor Kelly coming at you here. I got an article I come across here on uh, Russian television speaking about this man here uh, saying he attacked a veiled Muslim woman and she films a verbal assault. Now, I watched a video and I'm going to show you excerpts of the video and you're going to see that uh, yeah, the guy wasn't exactly in the right but he wasn't wrong either. And this woman continually badgered him and badgered him, trying to get provoke him to saying something worse than all he did was do the Batman song, which I don't understand that one. I guess that's an English thing. But she just keeps badgering him, and his little kids are there, and eventually by the end of the video, it's a five-minute video, the kids are crying, wanting to leave, and this woman will not get out of this man's face. And, of course, every time she says something to him, he says something back, and he keeps proclaiming to be a Christian, which I, you know, if you proclaim it, I suppose you are. You should be if you proclaim it. Otherwise, you're blaspheming the Holy Spirit, and I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. But anyhow, I digress. Let me show you a little bit of this video. Here we go. Have a listen. Still, I'm not going to keep quiet due to your ignorance. I want to put you back in so your why place. You, why are you dressed like that? Why am I, because I want to dress like that. It's not because I'm a superhero. Why are you dressed like that? It's not because I'm a superhero. How do they know? You're a man or woman. Because of your ignorance. No, but how do they know? Well, you don't teach them that. You told I them don't this teach is. Them that. As you heard, she says that she's going to put him back in his place. And, of course, he goes on, which is badgering him, and he says, why you dress like that? I don't know if you're a man or a woman. That wasn't right of him to say. But she goes on and on about putting him back in his place. She is a, a visitor to that country or taking on the religion of all the, uh, of the visitors, the Muslim religion, into a Christian country, and she is correcting him. Folks, this is coming to America. This is what's going to happen here, if it's not already. And this spot I'm going to play for you now, uh, the the men that's with her is trying to get her to stop. And I, you know, just for saying's sake, she's in a Muslim burqa with her Muslim friends. And as far as my understanding, a Muslim woman is not supposed to be chastising nor speaking out, let alone to men that's not with her. Grab a listen to this. Are you finished? 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 I am recording you. I am. Stop. No, I am. Record me. Record me. Sorry, sir, but he's actually Sorry. ignorant. I'm no, not no, ISIS. I look, look, no one's saying you are. He is. No one's saying There, her friends are trying to get her to stop. She's not stopping. We're a minute and 41 into this video, and she's still going on. I'm going to pause here and fast forward. In this next spot, the men that's with her is telling her, look, you know, you just need to calm down. And she's saying, well, here, have a listen to this. He was just a little bit upset. They're saying <clears throat> he was a little upset about losing some money in the store and, took, and he took it out on her because she was Muslim. I call, nah, not going to happen, not what's going on. Look, folks, I'll leave a link to this. It gets juicier onto the part of it and into the, down to the problem that the man's kids are crying. This is what we are having happen to the Christian faith. This is what the Muslims are doing to our faith. They are causing or trying to get us to swallow their faith lock, stock, and Koran. But they don't want to hear about our Bible. They don't want to hear about our precious Jesus, Lord Jesus. They don't want to hear that. We speak that up. It's hate speech. This video will be considered hate speech. It's not. I love them all. I look at 1.5 billion chances to convert to Christianity. But I don't love the way they treat Christians and the way they expect us to swallow their religion. We don't force ours on them. They better quit forcing theirs on I, us. So there's going to be a giant swelling up of the people to stand up and say, no, nope, not going to take this anymore. And this is what our country is wanting to try to welcome in, open arms, open borders. Well, I welcome each and every peaceful one of them. But religion of peace? You listen to the video, and this is a woman. Nothing wrong with women, but, you know, can you imagine what the men are doing if this woman's willing to berate this man 
this father with his two little children in a public store over singing the Batman song. Ah. And to put him back in his place. Thank you. To put him back in his place is what she says. Well, <clears throat> folks, I guess someone will probably listen to this put me back in my place. I guess they'll try, but I've got the Lord Jesus Christ on my side, and I hope pray you do too. Look, I'm going to pray for them. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for all of you. Pray for us. We love you, but Jesus loves you more. He died for you. He died for you to have the right to eternal salvation and the right to listen or say what you need to say and many other reasons. But mainly he died for you to live forever in him. God bless you one and all. Pastor Kelly's out of here.